Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair, and this video is for our customer Kenneth Miller and everyone else who might be having Panasonic. Uh, let me see, I'm not supposed to see that. Panasonic TCP 55GT31 that has uh, that SC board TNPA 53. 353 or more specifically it will be here 5335 I'm sorry and this is BA it might be A B it may be BA they have lots of different uh, this is the PCB number here and the actual board part number will be on that white sticker and sometimes they will be A B B A and sometimes they can be compatible with each other and sometimes they may not because the same TNPA PCB depending on what transistors are put here, what drivers, how many of them can go in different sizes of TV. Uh, some of them can be totally uh, incompatible, some of them can be less. There are, I'm guessing, many videos, I'm sure I have shot videos in the past that talk about those. Uh, the, the reason for this video is customer, as they say, I purchased one board for Panasonic TV, now blink six times, I inquired about next time and told I should reconnect and retry that if I have the same results, rem remove the three boards and send for testing. So customer bought that board and the reason I know that is because we have our label on it. It was bought whoo, in September, it is December. Why did it take you so long? That said, it's been here for about a week before the box made it to processing. Now what I want to show is I'm not sure about the six blinks. I believe it should still be seven blinks, and that bothers me a little bit. Uh, but the truth is, I don't know how many blinks show when. I believe when any one of those boards is bad, it shows seven blinks. But what I want to show to the customer and everyone else is that board is bad. I don't even know if the board that the customer bought to replace the SU buffer needed to be replaced i can see ours and i haven't tested it yet i have other videos showing how to test and i'm sure many others do it's basically pretty simple positive lead on the floating ground and you start tracing the pins and looking for sorry short when there is a burnt ic uh, there is a short somewhere what i'm doing is i'm sliding yeah, you can see I'm sliding and it stays up and you should do that on all the, the pins and this is different for different plasma boards there are some that are a little bit more complicated but those are fairly simple I can see that we've it's actually lower buffer boards usually the problem the problem on those this I'm uh, my bad this is the upper buffer board that is the way it should be and Apparently this is originally working board. Uh, the problem usually is in the top buffer, so I was testing here. It's it's okay to test everywhere, there's nothing wrong with that. But when there is a problem, it's usually at the very top I see on those buffers. I would say easily 99% of the time. That's why I'm taking a little slower here, waiting for a constant beep. This has to make contact. Going, 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 going. No, this is a good buffer. This this buffer hasn't even been repaired like many others that we do. In which oh, I happen to have one actually right in front of me. The problem is, oh, that's, that would be a good example. This will be a shorted buffer. And there you go, right away. And if you move, not all of them will be shorted, but at least one. And some of the others may have, this had 38 ohms, some of the pins may have uh, off readings, not the standard uh, 275, that's a buffer that has to be repaired. Anyhow, this is good. Um, same way this one should be tested, just to see, because rarely, but I have seen sometimes the same thing happen on the lower. Uh, very rarely. So we don't know if the top buffer board was bad to begin with. Of course you use both your hands, don't do it like I do it. 
have our camera that is fixed somewhere else. Making videos is not my virtue and not really my goal. Uh, but more importantly, the SC board. This is one transistor. It's a complex transistor made out of three in parallel in order to increase the current and the power that they can dissipate. Same is here, same is here. Those are actually three switches. And it doesn't matter which one of them, they have diodes, discharging diodes in parallel. Um, this is the gate and those are the switching legs and this is a good set and when those are good usually those are good as well because they also fail together and now those again the transistors here are this one this one and that one so those three are transistors and those three are the discharging diodes for them sorry if you didn't see well any one of those can be measured because they're in parallel and this is clearly shorted. Now when this is shorted, usually that is shorted as well. Not necessarily, but usually. You can hear it, I don't have to show. And when that is shorted, usually that is shorted as well. So that board is bad, it needs to be repaired. Of course when we are done, we will test all three in a TV. That's what it's. Uh, that's what you're paying us for, and uh, that is all. This oh yeah, very important. I've made it in other videos. Uh, all those connection points have to be cleared. And usually there is rust. Yeah, you can see the black stuff, and the screws that you have on your side. More bad stuff. This is causing bad connection, arcing, and it is one of the reasons why those transistors may fail. May not be the leading one, may not be the, the, the leading one for this board, but this is bad stuff. And we clean them and fix them and we will replace those, as I have said in other videos, even though they are good, we would still replace them while we have the board here because this is like car tires. This board is an equivalent of a, of a car and those are the tires uh, that has run hundred thousand miles or whatever 60 50 thousand miles uh, every time they heat up like everything that heats up they expand a little bit and every time they cool off they shrink a little bit and they expand and they shrink and they shrink and, and the effect of that is kind of like bending metal uh, it takes a little bit well way long way more bends uh, to the semiconductor than to kill a metal and the truth is if they're properly designed uh, they will not be bending that much when they work um, and they will they can last much much longer but the way the current electronic appliances are for the consumer space they last even less than, than those guys if you buy a new TV now it's gonna be even worse than those but anyhow because we have the board here and because we know those all wear out we're gonna replace all of them that's how it should be done that's why it costs more when it is done by somebody who knows uh, and doesn't want to have customers returning back to them. That's what it is. Best of luck and uh, see you soon.